Games can be a lot of fun, can't they? We all like to play games and to win. We all like to watch games. There's good sportsmanship. You know what that means? Watch Joe. See whether he's a good sport. Watch him get away from his guard. There he goes. Whoops, out of bounds. That's how the referee calls it, out of bounds. Joe doesn't think he stepped out of bounds. He's sure he didn't. But the referee called it. Now, wait a minute. What would a good sport do now? What would you do? Argue and refuse to give up the ball? Finally give up the ball, but make a big fuss about it? Let's hope you'd think of the first rule of good sportsmanship. Play fair. Joe does play fair. He accepts the referee's ruling. Then everyone can have more fun. Now the other team takes over. And Bill has the ball. Shall he try to shoot from so far away? Uh-oh, Bill sees a teammate, unguarded. He could make a basket easily. But if Bill could make it himself, what would a good sport do? What would you do? Play just for yourself? Try to be the star? Let's hope you'd remember good sportsmanship. Then you'd play your best for the team. Bill does play his best for the team. It wouldn't be much of a game if everyone played for himself. And look, two points for the team. Now, what's the score? Oh, that last basket puts Bill's team ahead. Good sportsmanship pay. And the crowd likes it. Now Bill's team will want to play extra hard to protect that lead. And the time's growing short, so Joe's team must hurry to... Oh, that's the way, Joe! Well, try again. Too bad. And now Bill's team gets the ball. There goes another chance to score. Oh, time's up. End of the game. Bill's team won. It's been fun watching the game, even for those who wanted Joe's team to win. As you might expect, Bill and his team are glad they won. And of course, Joe and his team are sad about losing. It'd be easy for them to be angry, but wait a minute. What would a good sport do? What would you do? Be angry and act up just because you've lost the game? Let's hope you'd remember good sportsmanship. Take the results well, no matter whether you win or lose. Joe does take the results well. After all, he enjoyed playing and he played his best. There's always a winner and a loser. Both should enjoy the game. Joe congratulates Bill for winning. And Bill mentions how close Joe came to tying the score again. And he thinks Joe is a good sport. Next time, Bill would like to be on the same team as Joe. So the winner and the loser are both good sports and good friends. Let's remember how to be a good sport. Play fair, play your best for the team, and take the results well. Where else is good sportsmanship important? Well, Bill wants to read a special reference book Mr. Howard brought for the class. There's a list right here of those who want to read it. Wow, Bill will have to wait quite a while for that book. Joe must have the book now. And what's more, it looks as if he's finished with it. Well, maybe Joe would let his friend Bill have the book right now ahead of the others. But wait a minute. What would a good sport do? What would you do? Give the book to your special friend and make everyone else wait? No, a good sport would play fair by obeying the rules. The others who signed up should have their turns. And Bill's a good enough sport to agree. 
but Joe can do something for his friend. He'll let Bill study his notes on the special reading. And Bill surely appreciates that. So, by playing fair, and by doing something extra for his friend, Joe shows how good a sport he is. And everyone likes him for that. Everybody likes a good sport. Good sportsmanship is important on the street, too. Joe and Marianne are close friends, and Bill is a friend of both of them. So the three of them like to go home from school together. But it isn't easy to ride a bike as slowly as people walk. And while Bill wants to stay with his friends, he'd also like to keep on riding. But wait a minute. What would a good sport do? What would you do? Ride in circles, showing off? Try to ride alongside them and crowd them? Bill is a good sport on the street. He tries to be considerate and think of what's best for the group. And that's rather like doing your best for the team. Everyone can have more fun when we practice good sportsmanship. When Bill arrived home, he found still another place where good sportsmanship counts. He found that it's important to be a good sport at home when... But let's see what happened. Well, at least Bill's not hurt. But what about the doll he stepped on? Oh, Ruthie's new doll. And just look at Bill's watch. Huh. But what about the doll? Bill thinks Ruth shouldn't have left the doll lying there. He thinks it's all her fault. In fact, Bill has a good mind to... But wait a minute. What would a good sport do? What would you do? Be nasty, even though you'd be ashamed of yourself for it later? Bill wants to be a good sport. This is something like losing a game. It's too late to change it. So take the results well. You'll feel better if you do. Ruth has to be a good sport too. She could blame Bill for not looking where he stepped, but it's more pleasant just to take what happens. Be a good sport. You can be proud of yourself, too. So remember, whether you're at home, or on the street, or in school, or playing a game, be a good sport. Play fair. Play your best for the team or the group. Take the results well. These are the fundamentals of good sportsmanship. But good sportsmanship is more than just that. Good sportsmanship is found in your attitudes, in the way you do things, in the smile you wear. And remember, if you're a good sport, everyone can enjoy the game better. Everyone will like you better. And what's most important, you'll feel better about yourself. Are you a good sport?